And what I really felt like I wanted to do playing music was play music for people that were sick. So um, I read on the internet that you uh, played in kindergartens and in, um, I, I'm sorry if I say it wrong, AIDS hospices? Yeah, well just, um, you know, I just played in one hospice and one kindergarten. The, kinder the kindergarten class was my nephew's class who have, um, they live in Portland now and I've been really involved in their life and um, he's now um, almost 12, he'll be 12 in January, my nephew, and he's um, been playing drums actually mostly lately and he's been really ex excited about music and um, meets up with a lot of my friends that are musicians and learns from them and so um, when he was one of, you know, when I was very first starting to play songs I went into his kindergarten class and played um, and I think that was in college um, or maybe a little after and then um, when I first moved to Portland um, as I mentioned before I, I didn't have a, much of an intention to play shows in clubs I actually I didn't I, I wasn't really aware of the thriving music scene that that was happening in Portland and I I think I kind of from this outsider perspective saw this this whole culture and, and thought like oh people are really hip and <laughs> I don't I just don't know if it's for me playing music and and what I really felt like I wanted to do playing music was play music for people that were sick and um, and we had had hospice volunteers in my house growing up because my dad had cancer and it was um, we always were pretty connected with um, hospice in general and so when I moved to Portland I had um, I tried to figure out a way and I was starting to play songs I tried to figure out a way to play for people that were sick and I met a woman that um, ran a nonprofit for people in late stages of AIDS and just been talking with her I met her at a coffee shop and it's like oh I think that's I think that's what I'm to do with my music that I'm and I was just starting to write songs then and um, my very my first full-length record most of the songs I wrote um, while volunteering but every Tuesday night I'd play for the residents there um, and sometimes you know people were feeling too sick or and I wash dishes instead or something but that was, that was my first experience really playing for people and it was just absolutely so important to what I'm just to my understanding of sharing songs with people. Do you play differently for people that are that sick and for example for children like you mentioned in your nephew's kindergarten? Yeah um, I mean I think I I would choose maybe the poppier songs for kids or the more upbeat ones. I think there's certain songs that that kids really like and can hum the melodies to themselves and then um, then there's other songs that I imagine kids think of mine that are very slow and I imagine kids think they're really boring. <laughs> so I um, and I think you know people that are sick also have the same you know, everybody's so different, and everybody has different um, different needs for what they want to hear. And so, um, I really just played um, when I started playing shows. I was playing the same songs that I had written while um, volunteering and playing at this AIDS house. And so, um, so they were, you know, those were just the songs that I had. So they were the songs that I played. Wasn't it strange to play um, the same songs for, yeah, let's put like this a more kind of a live crowd, like maybe for younger people, people um, that are happy at a show and playing for people that are that sick? Um, in some ways, but I mean, at the time, you know, I, I really only had a few songs to play. And so that's, you know, that's just, what I could offer, and I and a lot of my songs were somewhat sad at, at that time, and um, and so maybe that's why it felt so right to play for those people, and um, and I just kind of did, you know, it was my first first kind of steps into playing music, and I just kind of did what I could do, and 
um, seemed, seemed to work okay.